Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create an online course website. So let's say you want to create a website where you can add courses on any topic and anyone visiting your site can become a member on your site and access your courses. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to create an online course website like this where you can add courses on any topic you want and the course page will look like this. Now if a visitor wants to get any course on your site, instead of buying it separately, they can see your membership plans here and they can get any plan and access all the courses available in that plan. So once they get your membership, they'll be able to see your course content like this. Okay, next, we'll also see how you can set up your newsfeed page like this, where you can add posts about anything and your site members can like and comment on your posts. Next, we'll also see how you can create groups for your members like this. Here you can give announcements, post valuable documents, images, or anything that your members might like. By doing this, you'll be able to interact with your members and build a member community. Okay, then we will also see how you can provide certificates like this when someone completes your course. Now finally, we will see how you can easily customize your site to any style you want just by using drag and drop. And the best part, your site will be optimized for mobiles and tablets, so your course will look good on any device. Okay, so let's get started. I'm Brand from Website Learners and let's start creating an online course website. We're going to create an online course website in just four parts. The first part is to launch a website. So this is where you get a new website live on the internet. So to launch a website, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this website called makewp.com. This is the website which is going to help us launch our online course website. Now makewp is a platform built by website learners. Here we have ready-made websites which have all the features you need pre-installed. So all you need to do is just launch a site and edit it to make your own. Okay, so to launch a website, here you can find the online membership website. Now to see how the site looks, just click view demo. And here you can see the complete online course website that we are going to launch. Now if we go to courses, we can see all the courses that we have. And if we open a course, you can see that we have the details about the course. Now just click view plans and the membership plans will be shown like this. Okay, so to get the online course website, just click launch site, then enter your details, click next step, now enter your payment details and click order now. And now we successfully purchased the website. Now to launch our site, Click launch new site and it will take you to this page. Now here enter the website address that you want. I am going to enter the fresh links. Now your website address will be the freshlinks.makewp.com. Now people will use this to visit your site. Now as you can see your online course website has already been selected. Once you have entered your URL, let's click launch new website. And you can see our brand new website has been launched. So now if you click visit, you can see that we have got the exact site that we saw on the link that we selected. Okay, now this is just a temporary link for your site. You can easily change this to your own .com domain. We'll see how you can do that later in this video. Okay, so once you've launched your site, now if we go to courses, you can see that we have these sample courses here. Now how do you add your own courses here? So next, Let's go to the second part of this video where we'll see how you can add your own courses to this site. To add your course, we are going to do four steps. The first step is to log into the admin area of our website. Once you log in, you will be able to edit all the contents of your site. So to log in, all you have to do is just go back to make it WP and then click admin. As you can see, we are now logged into WordPress and this is where you can control your site. Now, once you're logged in, you can go to the next step, which is to remove the sample courses. So to remove them, just click courses. And here you can see all the default courses that we have on our site. Now to remove them, just click here to select all the courses. Now click here. Select move to trash. And now if we click apply, you can see that all the courses have been deleted. So now if we go to our site, and click refresh you can see that we now have this blank page 
which means we can now add our courses. So once you deleted the sample courses, next you can now go to step 3 which is to add your course. So to create your course, let's go back to this tab, then click add course and now it will take you to this page where you can add your course. So now here we need to enter our course name. So I'm going to enter it and let's enter a description for our course. Next, let's say you want to add a featured image to your course. So to add a featured image, click featured image. Now just drag the image you want from the computer. You can see that our image has been added. Once you've added the details, if you click publish, then go to our site and click refresh. You can see that we now have the course which we just added and if we click on this course, you will be able to view the details about the course. So now we have successfully added our course and in the same way, you can add more courses to your site. Now if we scroll down, you can see we don't have any topics here. Next we are going to see how you can add the contents of your course like this. So let's go to step 4 which is to add the topics to your course. So to add the topics, let's go back to the course page. Then scroll down, click launch course builder and it will take you to this page where you can add your topics. To do that, first let's create a new section. Just click section and a new section will be added here. Now let's give a name for this section. Just click here and enter the name. I'm going to enter introduction. Once you've done that, next we need to add lessons under this section. To do that, click new lesson here and the lesson will be added. Let's give a name for this lesson. Once you've done that, in the same way you can add more lessons and sections for your course. Once you're done, now if we go back to our course page and click refresh, you can see that we now have more topics on our course. Okay, now we'll see how you can add content in these lessons later in the video. So now we've successfully added the courses on our site. And now if you see here, we don't have any option to purchase the course we created. So how will you just get the courses on your site? Next, let's go to the third part of this video where we'll see how you can set up membership plans on your site. So once you set up membership plans on your site, your visitors can purchase your membership and get access to your courses. So to set up memberships, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to create a membership plans. So to create your plans, let's go back to our dashboard. Now click memberships. And here you can see we already have the default membership plans. To create our own plan, we are just going to edit these plans. So first, let's edit the standard plan. Go here and click edit. Now scroll down and click auto enrollment. And here we have our standard plan. So let's click it. And you can see the plan details. Now let's say you want to change the title of this plan. Just click here and enter the name you want. Next, let's add a price to this plan. Just click here and enter the price you want. Now this is the price your visitors need to pay to get this plan. Next, here you need to select how you want your customers to pay for your membership. So just click here. Now if you want your customers to pay for every month of your membership, you can select this option. As I want only a one-time payment for this plan, I am going to select this. Once you've done that, here you need to select the expiry period for the plan. I'm going to enter 1 and this means the basic plan will be valid for 1 month. So after that, your customers will not be able to access this course in the plan. Now once you've entered all these details, next you need to add the courses which you want to include in this plan. So once you add the courses, when someone purchases this plan, they'll be able to access the courses available on this plan. So to add the courses, just scroll up. Then click here and you can see all the courses you have on your site. So select the course which you want to include in this plan. I'm going to select this course. Now you can add more courses on this plan. Just click here and select the course. Okay, so now we've successfully edited our plan. Let's click save and our membership will be saved. In the same way, you can edit the other membership plans on your site. Okay, once you're done, now if we go back to our course page and click refresh 
you can see that we still don't have the option to get our memberships. So to let customers purchase our courses, we need to add the membership plans to our courses. So let's go to the next step, which is to add the membership plans to our course. Once you add the plan, you will get a section like this. So to add the plan, let's go back to this tab, then click here. Now click courses. And you can see all the courses we have. Now go to the course where you want to add the plan. Then click edit. Scroll down. And here we have the plans option. Now let's click add new. And enter a title for your plan section. I'm going to enter get started. Now here enter the text which you want for this button. I'm going to enter view plan. Now as we are not charging separately for our course, let's select this option. And here you need to select who can access this course. So click here. And as I want only the members of our site to access this course, I'm going to select this. And here you need to select the membership plan which you want to display here. So let's click here. Select the plan. And once you've done that, click save. Now if we go back to our course page and click refresh, you can see that we've got a section for our plan details. Okay, so now we've successfully set up the membership plans on our site. So next, let's see how our membership works. Just like a visitor would do, let's try to purchase a plan and access our course. Just click view plan. And we've got the plans page. Now these are the default plan details that come with our site. We'll see how you can edit these details later in this video. Now let's choose a plan. Here the visitors have to create a new account. So let's enter our email. Then give a password. Enter our name. Now if we click buy now. Here you can see it says there's no payment method available. So now to allow people to make payments on our site and purchase a membership, we need to set up a payment method. So next, let's see how you can set up a payment method on your site. In this video, we're going to set up a Stripe payment method on our site. So to set it up, let's go back to our admin area. Then go here. Click settings. Now click checkout. And here you can see we have the Stripe option. So let's click it. Now to set up the payment method, we need to enter these details and connect to our Stripe account. Once you connect to your Stripe account, you will be able to receive the payments directly to your bank account when someone purchases a plan. So if you don't have a Stripe account, you need to create one and connect it with your website. So to create the account, just click the link below this video and click start now. Now fill in these details and click create account. Click open Gmail and we have received a mail from Stripe. Let's click on it. Just click here. Once you have created your Stripe account, in order to receive payments using this account, you need to activate the account. So to activate it, let's click activate payments and then fill up these details and click continue. Now enter your personal details. and click continue. Here enter your business details. Click continue. Now select these options based on your business. Click continue. Now here you need to add your bank account where you want to receive your payments. You can either choose your bank here or you can enter the details manually. I'll select this. Now just enter your account details. Once you've entered these details, just click save and click continue. Just click submit. And now we have successfully activated our Stripe account. So once you've activated the Stripe account to let your customers make payments on your site, you need to connect this account with your website. So to connect it, just click here and go to API keys. And you can see the details needed to connect your account with the website. To connect the account, we need to copy these details and paste them here. So to copy these details, just click here to copy and then paste it here. 
Now let's click here and paste it. Once you've done that, click Save Changes and our Stripe account will be connected with our website. So now we have successfully set up a payment method on our website. To check it, let's go to our checkout page and click Refresh. You can see that we now have the card option to make the payment. So like we did before, let's enter these details, then enter our card details. Now if we click buy now, you can see that we successfully purchased our membership and this means we can now access our course. So now if we click view course, you can see all the courses which are included in the plan that we purchased. So this is how a customer can buy your membership. Now once someone gets a membership, if you go to your email inbox, you can see that we have seen an email from our website saying someone has enrolled in our membership plan. And we also got a mail from Stripe which shows us the money that we received. Okay, now let's go back and if you open our course, we can see our course and the topics. Now if the visitor clicks get started, you can see that we have our lessons here. But there is no content inside these lessons. So next, let's see how you can add the content into each of these lessons. So to add your content, let's go back to our admin area. Now go to courses. Then go to the course where we want to add the content. Now click builder. Now as you can see, we have the sections we created before. Now to see all the lessons, click on expand all. Okay. Now to add content to the lessons, just go to our lesson. Click this icon. Now here you can see we can add video content or audio content. I want to make a video course, so I'm going to add a video to this lesson. So to add a video, we need to first enter the URL of the video here. So to get this URL, we need to first upload the video to a platform called Vimeo. If you're creating a video course, we recommend Vimeo, which will keep your course videos secure by blocking downloads. So to upload the video to Vimeo, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now to upload our videos, first we need to create an account. So let's click join for free. Then sign in with Google. And it will take you to this page. So now if you see here, it shows we can upload only 2 videos per month and 25 videos per year. So if you want to upload more videos, you need to upgrade your plan. Okay, now I am going to upload videos. Just click upload. And this is where we can upload our video. So now let's upload a video which we want for our course. Just drag your video and drop it here. And as you can see, our video has been uploaded. Now to get the URL of this video, let's click here. Then copy the URL. Go back to this tab. And paste it here. Now the video will be added to our lesson. In the same way, you can add videos to all your lessons. Now if we go back to our course page and click refresh, you can see that our video has been added to our course. Okay, now you know how to create a course like this and add content to it. And also let people purchase your membership and access your courses. Okay, let's say people have started joining your membership. Now, what if you want to communicate with your members and keep them engaged on your website? You can do that with a newsfeed page on your site. So next, let's see how you can use the newsfeed page. Let's go to our website. Now here you can see the newsfeed. So let's click it. Now on this page, you'll be able to add posts about anything and the members on your site can see your posts and they can like and comment on your post. So let's say you want to add a post to your feed. To add a post, just click here. Then enter the text for your post. Now if you want to add an image, click here. Then drag and drop the image you want and the image will be added. Now if you click post, your post will be added. Now if a member goes to the news feed page and clicks refresh, you can see that they have got the post be added. Now they can like the post and if they want to comment, they can click here and add their comment. Now if you click post, 
Now, if we refresh our page, you can see that we've got the notification here, which says a new comment has been added. And here we can see their comment. Okay, but your members can also post in this page and you'll be able to see their posts here. So this is how you can use the newsfeed page. Okay, next, let's say you want to create a group for your members like this, where you can give announcement posts, share files, media, or anything that might interest your members. So now let's see how you can create a group for your members. To create a group, just click groups, then click create a group. Now here, enter a name for your group, then click create and continue. And here you can control the group settings. Now scroll down, and here you need to select who can join the group. I'm going to select organizers only. You can make the changes according to your wish. And once you're done, scroll down, click next step. Then again, click next. And here you can add an image for your group. Just drag and drop the image you want. Now you can crop the image as you like. Click crop photo and click next. Here you can add a header image for your group which will look like this. So to add the image, just drag and drop the image you want and it will be added. Now click next and then click finish. And as you can see, we've successfully created our group. And now you can start posting here. Let's say you want to add a document to the group. To do that, just click document, then click upload files. And here you can enter any text you want. Now drag and drop the document which you want to add. Now if you click done, you can see that our document has been added. Now if we go to feed, you can see the post with the document we added. Now the people in this group can see this post and get your document. Okay, so this is how you can create a group on your site. Next, let's go to the final part of this video where we'll see how you can edit any page on your site. So let's go to our site. Now let's see you want to edit the contents of this homepage. How can you do that? So to edit any page on your site, just go into that page, click edit with Elementor and it'll take you to this editing section. So this is where you can edit the contents of this page. Okay, so let's say you want to change this logo. Go to logo and click this icon. Now click here and drag and drop the image you want. And as you can see, the logo is changed. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just click here. Now select this text, then enter your own text. And as you can see, the text has been changed. You can change any text you want on this page. Just select the text and change it. Now, if you want to change the text on this button, just select it, enter your text here and enter the text you want. Now, let's say you want to change this image. Just click it, select the image here. Then drag and drop an image from your computer. And as you can see, our image has been changed. So in the same way, you can change any image on your site. Okay, so once you're done with all the changes, to save our changes, just click update. And now if we go to our site, click refresh. You can see that our page has been changed. Next, let's click view plans. Now these are the default details which came with our ready-made site. So next, let's edit our pricing plan page. Just click edit with Elementor. And now let's say you want to change the title of this plan. So just select it, enter your text here. And as you can see, the text is changed. Now if you want to change this price, just click price here and enter your price here. Now, if you want to change these points, click feature, then click here and enter the text you want. In the same way, 
you can edit the rest of the items. Once you're done, click update. And if we go to our site and click refresh, you can see that the changes have been made. So this is how you can edit any page on your site. Okay, next, let's say someone has completed a course on your site. Now, what if you want to give them a completion certificate like this? So next, let's go to the bonus part of this video where we'll see how you can provide certificates to your members who complete your courses. So to give certificates, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to create a certificate. So to do that, let's go back to our dashboard, then go to engagements and click certificates. As you can see, we have a default certificate here. So let's edit this. Just click edit. Now here, we need to change the name of our course. So click here and enter the course name for which we are giving the certificate. Once you've done that, click update. Now to see the certificate, just click here. This is how the certificate looks. Now if you want to change the design of the certificate, just go back, click set background image. Then drag and drop the image you want. Now click update. And if we go here and click refresh, you can see the design has been changed. Okay, so now we've successfully created the certificate. Once you've done that, let's go to the second step, which is to add the certificate to our course. So to add it, let's go to our dashboard and click add engagement. Now here, enter a title for your certificate. And then here, you need to select when you want to give the certificate. So let's click here. Now as I want to give the certificate when the student completes a course, I'm going to select this option. Next, here you need to select the course for which you're giving the certificate. So just click here and select the course. Now as we are giving a certificate, click here and select award a certificate. Here, select the certificate. Now click publish. So when someone completes our course, they'll receive the certificate. To check that, let's go to our course. Now let's say a student has completed the course and clicks mark complete. Here you can see that the student has received a message saying they've got a certificate. Now to see the certificate, they can click here and they can download the certificate from here. Okay, so this is how you can award a certificate to your students. Now here you can see that our website address ends with makeawp.com. Now instead of this, what if you want your website to have a simple address like yoursite.com, which looks more professional? You can do that by getting your own domain name for your site. So next, let's see how you can get your own domain name for your website. Now to get your domain name, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to the homepage of Webspace Kit. So this is the site where we can buy our domain. Now here, enter any name you want for your website. Now if you click search, you can see that the domain name is available. So once you find your domain, to get this domain, click add to cart and click continue. Now here it'll ask you to select a hosting plan and as we already hosted our site on MakeAWP, let's click skip and it'll take you to the cart page. Now here you can see that we're getting this domain for one year. And after one year, you can renew your domain to keep using it. So to get this domain, let's fill up these details. Select your payment method and then enter your payment details. Now if we click order now, you can see that we have successfully made our payment. Now if we click here, you can see that we've got a domain. So once you've got your domain, how do you connect this domain with your website? So next, let's see how you can connect this domain to your online course membership website, which we just built. So to connect this domain with our website, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to add this domain to your website. So to add the domain, let's go to makewp.com, click on domains. Now here you need to enter the domain name, which you just purchased. 
Once you've entered your domain name, let's go to the final step, which is to add this IP address to your domain. So to add it, let's go to this tab, then click domains. Now select the domain which you purchased, go to manage DNS. Now next to this A record, we need to add an IP address which is shown here. So let's go back to this page, copy this IP address, then come back to our domain and paste the IP address here. Once you're done, click save changes. Now let's go back to make it WP and click connect domain. So now we've successfully connected our new domain name to our website. So let's check it. Now if we open a new tab and type our new domain name and press enter, you can see that we've got our online course website which we just created. And if we click here, you can see the courses we added. So now your visitors and customers can use this domain name to access your site. So this is how you can get your own domain name for your website. Okay. So that's it guys. This is how you can create an online course membership website. Now, if you're ready to make your website, just click the link below this video and it will take you to the Make Your WP page where you can launch your site and start building your online course membership website. Now, if you have a business and you want to build a professional website that will help you attract your target audience and boost your brand image, then you should check out this video. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button to see more videos from us. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, Take care. Bye-bye.